What's going on, everybody? So, this is going to be a fun video. So, we have, coming up very soon, the anniversary of Cartoon Network City. And uh, this was given to me by uh, a guy in our streams who visits often. His name is PR. Uh, also goes by Ninja Sir. Um, and this is an old forum called AnimeSuperhero.com. Cartoon Network Talkback, the new Cartoon Network from June 13th, 2004. What this is, is the very first reactions anybody had. Well, I don't know about anybody, but this is the very first reactions. <coughs> <coughs> Got a bit of a pop up there. Uh, but this is, the, this is some of the very first reactions to Cartoon Network City. And there's about 12 pages. I figured we might as well go through the whole thing. Uh, and get a look. We looked at a little bit of these on stream a while ago, but let's take a dive. I just started this talk back because, in case you haven't noticed, well, turn on the TV. I'll post my thoughts about all of this later in the day once I've gotten more time to take a real look at it. I'm too tired right now. I just wanted to make sure there was a thread for people to talk about it instead of flooding all the other talk back threads today. Which, very nice of him, right? Start this thread. Whoa! New CN bug. Crazy. Can you merge my CN bug thread? No more hue bumps. We've had six freaking years of those. They're finally gone. Look at people talking about Cartoon Network back then, the way we're talking about them now. Isn't that hilarious? So, there, there's an old saying that says... Uh, I don't remember exactly what it is. Some, maybe somebody in the comments can help me out. But it's like, when certain things stay the same... And certain things are also, like, change, or they're different. I don't remember the exact phrase, uh, but it, it definitely rings true here. Since I didn't see any mods on this forum at the moment, I went ahead and merged the threads. I'm still up to posting on the Adult Swim forum all night. My what a big logo is... My what? My what a big logo. Oh, my what a big logo that is. I see. Uh, looks nice otherwise. Glad to see it is more of an update than a complete redesign. Wow, big logo. I'll give more opinions in three hours when it's shown here in the West. Uh, yeah, if it was totally new logo, TZ'd be kind of screwed. Does this mean that spawn of Satan Megas bug is gone forever? Is, is that what that means? Banished to Robot Sushi Land, we hope. And who's that girl? Yeah, if it was totally new TZ logo, we'd be kind of screwed. Oh, this is the other guy's comment. Hopefully, Samurai Jack and that Megas bug to Robot Sushi Land. Ha. Ah. Now, if they could just put my show back on Cartoon Network, and that would truly be an improvement. By the way, has anyone else noticed there's a female announcer doing the promos? Yes! Yes! I love that they're talking about her. She's one of my favorite parts of CN City, is the female announcer. Only on Cartoon Network. Ah, oh, so good. One of the things are new bumpers for the shows as well. Not bad, Cartoon Network. I lo look at them. Okay. Oh, here we, go, here we go, here we go. I strongly dislike it. It's too bad and has a generic network logo feeling to it. The old logo never seemed to have. I disagree. As for the bumpers, those are fine. It's just the logo that concerns me. Has it generic logo? This is generic? Is it? I don't know if I agree. Uh, I don't know if I agree. This is generic? This is what we're talking about. This is generic? Then, then what do you call this? What do you call... Then what do you really call this? If this is generic... That's an opinion, my friend. That is... That is most definitely an opinion. I will say that. Generic is one of the last words I would use to describe the 2004 to 2000... What was it? 10? Cartoon Network logo? Generic is one of the last few words I would use to describe it. This guy is cancelled. Not void. We're not prohibited. He has no message here. This is Cartoon Network. Well, that was unexpected. The look of the Cartoon Network has changed. From the commercial breaks, there's more of them, to the promos to the logo, which no longer spells out the network's name. Just CN with the network's name underneath it. 
There's been a thread on this for a while. Slaps you? I merged it. Opinions will still come later. The logo is cool, if you ask me. It's square, but I'm tired of the effing about bugs anyway. It'll eventually become translucent, and no one will be fussing anymore. If you flip through the channels, you'll find that most channels still have bigger bugs than Cartoon Network, and Cartoon Network still doesn't have real the real annoying things like scroll tickers. Scroll tickers. Wow. Disney Channel and Spike TV has horrifying pop-up advertising that dwarfs 40% of the screen. I believe scroll tickers are like... Um, I, I want to say it's something along... It's like an, it's like a the, the channel logo, but it's something that moves. I believe. Don't count me on that, though. Uh, the only thing that bugs me with the new Cartoon Network are the number of commercials. Like the new Toonami and Maguzi, each show has three commercials. I figured out why that is, though. Since there's still the same amount of commercial time for each show, the length of the commercial has dropped. Some are just around one minute, in fact. So that means if you leave during the commercial break, you may miss part of the show you normally wouldn't when the commercial break was longer. And so you have to sit through the commercials. And Cartoon Network Advertiser get their money. I don't like it, but it's kind of clever if you think about it. I agreed. Most are bigger anyway. Most people will still be ticked to compare the old one to this. But I don't mind it at all. I don't mind the new logo. I didn't mind the new logo back then either. I thought it was fine. Uh, in fact, well, I don't. let me not say that. I'm only at Rescue Heroes since I'm in the West. But, see, but from the few I've seen, I just can't wait to see more. Look at this guy. Being very positive. Wow. What a comment. And it looks like they got rid of that freaking annoying narrator that I've always hated so much more than the one that left in 2002. I wonder who they're talking about. I like the old one better than this one. Interesting. Interesting. Can't record with that obstruction, and the three commercial break system doesn't work for me either. Or doesn't work for the whole network. I'm going to have to get used to it, otherwise the bumpers are... He, wow, they did not like the logo. They called it an obstruction. I mean, pick your poison, right? Pick your poison. And I mean that lovingly, right? Right? Isn't this, like, longer than this one? Am I wrong? Is aren't is this not longer, and this one's just slightly taller? We're complaining about, like, an, an, an additional inch of, of the screen not being there. Obstruction. Okay. Here's a uh, clip of the 60-second bumper. I had a feeling it was not going to let me click on that. I wanted to try it anyways. Uh... Ow, that stings to uh, response to the slaps you. This is definitely 2001 on the internet, for sure. I didn't notice it until afterwards. I'm usually more of a nocturnal creature myself and was a little blurry-eyed this morning. Also, I haven't been looking at TV much this weekend. Big-time party atmosphere on the NMB, thanks to Har Harbor Fest. Plus, I had work to do, aside from six feet under last night. Won't kill me or anything. I, too, have to wait a while. I was in the middle of watching episode 23 of OS and come online to hear of change. Would this be classified as a step in the right direction? By the way, this is just an assumption, but if you want to catch the new look, I'd watch Cartoon Network during these times. Because I doubt it'll affect Maguzi, Adult Swim, Camp Cartoon Cartoon, who remembers that, or Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh!, usually since those two shows get their own special bumpers. To be honest, Cartoon Network has handled the extra ad break really well. For shows like Ed, Ed, Nettie, they simply insert a break right after the theme song rather than cutting into the episode. And of course, for shows with the 7-minute segments, the extra ad break actually helps rather than hinders. What I like about the, 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 what I like about this forum so far is the takes are very, 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 what's the word? The takes are very intelligent Eat, like whether they they like it or whether they dislike it <clears throat> they're giving legitimate reasons as to why right i might not agree i wouldn't go as far as to call it an obstruction i think that's a bit offensive but uh you know i might agree sure cars never changes for the better now if they only had Maguzi ship underwater or the absolution mark ii fly past the watchtower to the satellite at the end or space ghost 
Birdman and Brack swimming. Okay. I wonder if anyone's still live on these forums. Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! didn't have their own special bumpers this morning when they aired when they aired back to back, but Primetime is a different beast. Although the special bumpers aren't all that bad, I'm digging the one for Scooby Alley myself, and not just because of the old Scooby Doo movies are no longer on the network. No more Genie, Mama Cass, and Jerry Reed reruns. Interesting ID for the network too. Kind of a conga beat. These bumpers own. I don't think Wow. Oh wow. Who remembers when you said the word own? You got owned. Man, these bumpers own. Who remembers when you used that vocabulary? My goodness. What a time the early 2000s were, huh? What a time. I didn't think once on these rocking this good. Wow, the vocabulary. That'd be cool, but I think they are trying to keep Maguzi, Toonami, and Adult Swim separate from General Cartoon Network. I love these bumpers. Samurai Jack with a broom. Nice. I don't hardly believe it, but I actually saw a Toonami promo during Pokemon this morning. <laughs> I'm feeling these new bumpers. This change was way overdue for the net. Excellent integration of the cartoon cartoons, Scooby-Doo, Duck Dodgers, Tom and Jerry, and Teen Titans, Megas XLR, and Justice League. Thumbs up. Note, so far now, CartoonNetwork.com has not changed its look. Maybe the new logo bug is only for on-air, dot, dot, dot. That was not the case. <laughs> it's on ad for Totally Spies on Maguzi, and the new Cartoon Network logo was at the end. I'm digging it. It's not so confined to the boxy checkerboard that seemingly had grown stale over the years. Yet it doesn't stray too far from the logo on which the network was founded. Of course it's huge, but I agree that it'll probably shrink or become more translucent in the future, which it did. The commercial breaks don't bother me nearly as much as they did when they started up on Toonami. By now I'm used to it, and they breeze by rather quickly, which is nice. I, app I applaud you, CN. I applaud you. You were able to reimagine your network identity without totally changing it. I <laughs> this, this right here, is this the most accurate description of CN City? Being able to reimagine the network identity without totally changing it. I think it might be. I think that's a damn good explanation. I think so. Now, if only you could make ad bugs that don't have sound, and maybe give and give Maguzi and Toonami their own identity bugs. I'd be totally fine with all bugs on the network. I believe this happened. Yes, I as well like the bumpers and the background music. I'm guessing that CartoonNetwork.com will be ready next Monday, since that's when they change most of the time. This forum, dot, 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 is it going to change? But then again, dot, 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 everything CN did with that old logo, dot, 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 it's going to stick. Is it just me, or did TBS and Cartoon Network change about at the same period? Well, because TBS and Cartoon Network are both owned, right, uh, by the same person. Female announcer is sexy. All right. I don't know if I've ever thought of the female announcer from Cartoon Network City as being sexy. But alright. Anyway, about the icon. I like it. It's like the checkerboard, but advanced. Yes. Quite. My goodness. These opinions back then. This is a little off topic, but I just saw a commercial advertising the Cramp Twins week eight, weekdays at 10.30am. Does anybody know if Sonic X was picked up too? I don't believe it was. I don't think I don't think Sonic X ever aired on Cartoon Network. I could be wrong. I could very well be wrong. At least in the US. Let me specify. At least in the US. I don't remember Sonic X ever airing on Cartoon Network. Ed and A just started and there was no intro. It was probably uh, they're working through the kinks. I love the new look of Cartoon Network. Is it just me or did TBS Cartoon Network change about the same? Oh, it's, this is quoted. It is kind of weird that the two networks had two new looks in the same month. Uh, well, it's it's not that weird. They're owned by the same parent company. If they do a rebrand for one channel, they're probably doing a rebrand for another one as well. 
considering the same company owns TBS and Cartoon Network, I'm wondering if we'll see a change to the WB change as well. Okay, well, at least he's on the same boat. No, we would have heard about Sonic X. Uh, it did air. There was a commercial break between the intro and the beginning of the episode. Oh, wow, that's crazy. I do remember when that would happen sometimes, though. This was not often. This did not happen very often, but it did happen. I like it. It's a nice change. Eventually, everyone will be used to the change. Have they changed the Adult Swim stuff, too? I guess we'll find out tonight. It's like when Comedy Central went to the all-hip-hop-themed bumpers and promos. You get used to it. You mean her voice, right? Does anyone else think she sounds like a certain Baguzi host rather than... rather that Intruder needs to, be feast, needs to feast on? What the hell are they talking about? Toonami and Baguzi deserve their own bugs, especially Toonami, preferably a less noticeable one. The current one looks cool, just a little big. It's going to be a long one for me since I'm a big network look freakazoid. And it's been, what, seven years since I was able to experience these? Winky face. Uh, the logo. Since it's the begin since it's the one I didn't think they'd ever change, it's nice to see an update to the classic design rather than being a bad alteration of the classic design or a totally horrific new design, like how VH1 went from the uh, nifty big one to uh, VHR or GSN or... Uh, gonna take a while, but it's, uh, it's pleasing to the eye. A bold, guts, gutsy, yet successful move. I'm glad most people enjoyed the logo change back then. The actual look itself, very nice. It's imaginative, it's cohesive, and I can see a lot of directions they can go with this. It also brings back something that has been quite lacking at the network recently. That trademark Cartoon Network wit. I was laughing at the Cyborg ATM bumper, the Bucks Gym bumper, the 2x4 Warehouse, your Plank Headquarters. It really shows that they put a lot of thought into this. I'm wondering how they're going to keep it going. Though, since lack of variation really killed the old powerhouse look, and this looks far more expensive. You can only see the Powerpuff Girls fighting Roach guys so many times. But then again, how many bumpers did they make? I can, conce can kind of conceivably think of them doing hundreds. Which they did, and we'll get into that at a later time. Yes, a signature theme for the network again. Another thing I loved about the powerhouse look, although this doesn't incorporate the show's theme's tunes into it. It's funky and catchy. Yeah, I can definitely get used to this. I also like how the bumpers have a minimum of voiceover on them, and seem to tell a little story. Yes, I love that. It's better than Carrot Top making a joke. That's also one of my favorite parts about the city era. Female announcer doesn't sound annoying like the old guy. It fits with the network's image. She doesn't sound over old, but not too young either. She's pretty damn sexy. Where is all this coming from? My goodness, everyone thinks she sounds sexy. Uh, did anyone... I, am I the only one who never thought she sounded sexy? I don't know. Uh, another wise change, I think. Any bets on who she is? Part of me thinks it may be Tara Strong. You couldn't have been farther incorrect. Um, the new break structure isn't that bad, but I don't know if Comcast is used to the new way of C.O.B. Bing, uh, since there's no ultra break between shows anymore. I only saw, like, two promos in the hour and a half length of time. I've watched it so far. Trying to avoid BLT. Uh, the new structure does work better than I thought, though since the breaks are shorter than I remember Fox Kids as being. No sequeezed credits yet. Keep it that way, please. Okay? I, I think it means, like, like when the... Which, yes, I'm glad they... The city did not have almost any of those. Finally, the bug. Yeah, it's too big and obtrusive, but it's going to change. Okay, well, at least he knew. Uh, networks always tend to do this the first few days, weeks, months of a new look, and then tone it down... Tone it down somewhat. It's going to get smaller and then knock out the opacity somewhat... Down somewhat, I hope... Uh, nowhere near as bad as the Fox Kids Technicolor logos, X underscore X face. No, I don't think anybody makes those emoji faces anymore either. All in all, much better than I was expecting, and a really worthy successor. Well done, Cartoon Network, and whoever you got to design this for you. I think part of it helped by the fact that they actually commissioned new remixed IDs based on the ones created for the old look. I like that too. A really good evolution. With that, guys, we are three pages in. We are in a, This is now a 20-minute video. We're stopping it here. We will continue these in another video. What are your guys' thoughts on people's... On, pe on other people's thoughts on Cartoon Network City during its launch? 
What do we think? Are we liking it? Are we not liking it? Let me know. I'm very curious. Um, I... I'm very pleased uh, that most people loved it. Because I remember when Check It debuted. Man, nobody liked that when it first came out. Uh, I mean, it obviously grew into its own. And obviously a lot of people out there like Check It. But man, when that first came out, was not a pretty sight. But uh, I'm very excited to know that people did enjoy it. Still don't get the sexy thing. I mean, I suppose. Uh, I just never saw it that way. Anyways, uh, leave those comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all. Thanks so much to Loser HD, The Plush Experience, Kame Senin, and Susan Simone for becoming members. If you would also like to become a member, on my channel there is listed multiple different tier levels, and you can pick out which one is best for you.